If you look what's going on in Egypt right now, British authorities and at least one German airline have suspended flights to the region because they're saying we don't feel comfortable right now with the security situation there. They're going to come in and they're going to step up security at that specific airport, but there's going to be a lot more scrutiny out there about people connecting from the Middle East through European or U.S. airports. Egypt has had a history of terrorist attacks at uh, aimed at tourists. They've had people shot at ruins at some of the Great Pyramid sites. They've had um, convoys of travelers shot at. And they have this incident, which if it turns out to be a bomb, will be another horrible tragedy for this country. So if you're tourists debating where to go, this is going to be very hard for someone to say, do I continue to go to Egypt or do I go somewhere else? And at some point, the Egyptian government really needs to make a decision and say, we're going to put a lot of money behind security and safety and make sure that we keep tourists safe. Otherwise, we're going to lose this very important revenue stream of tourism. In the U.S. itself, I don't expect our security level to be raised anytime soon. We have a pretty comprehensive system out there and there don't seem to be any immediate threat to U.S. travelers beyond what has been issued always, which is that airlines will always be a target in the U.S. and we always will have increased security. If you look at security from country to country, there really isn't a set standard. So in the United States, most travelers walk through full body scanners where they have to stand there, freeze, and um, an image is taken of their body. If you go to the UK, for instance, they don't have those scanners, but they're much more stringent looking at your liquids and making sure that you take everything out of your bag.